I'm Allison Stewart with MTV News. Pop culture is known to move in cycles, and for more and more young people these days, it seems the pendulum is swinging back, way back, to the 40s and 50s. There's a rebirth of retro style happening, and it's all about martinis, cigars, dinner jackets, neo-sophisticate sounds of such bands as Combustible Edison's, The Naughty Ones from Austin, Donkey from Atlanta, and Love Jones out of L.A. Here's more. Whenever you're ready, S.J., hit me. I think when people walk in, they really think that they're at the wrong concert. Been around the world with no people come in and they're like, what the hell? Are we at like a wedding reception or something? It may sound like a wedding reception, but what's going on is a recent wave of youngsters sporting the attitude and sound of lounge. I just bet wanted an excuse to wear a suit again. <laughs> is really well with the uh, absolute martini with extra olives. Martinis are the drink of choice among the retro set, but remember this advice. Never, ever shake a martini. Ever. Martinis, what are they to you? They are the joie de vivre. What is lounge about? It's about some stab at uh, elegance and sophistication. Whether it works, who knows? Now, something like lounge culture, martinis, those things come back to you because suddenly you realize, well, there must have been something to it. It lasted so long, I'll try it. More young people are trying cigars, following celebrity trends, or using it as a socializing tool. They'll try a cigar on a Friday night with maybe some friends and enjoying it. Mm -hmm. uh, it becomes, you know, a part of a bonding experience or something <laughs> that they can, they can share. In many situations, you'll be out, and if somebody else across the room is smoking a cigar, you say, hey, what are you smoking over there? It really helps bring people together. If you're smoking a cigarette, I'm not too curious to go, hey, you got Marlboro Light over there? These things go in waves. I mean, this is perhaps the reemergence of and reacceptance of something traditional. Traditional restaurants serving large portions of comfort foods are doing big business, replacing the sushi infested 80s. We all know sort of the excess of the 80s and you know sort of the physique and the, the whole thing, right? Being sort of self-consumed. And you know the, the 90s is a much more sort of community oriented thing. Almost sounds like home, mashed potatoes, meatloaf. You don't walk in and have uh, Nouvelle Cuisine, which is very skinny. Every time I want to feel happy, I come here and I have, you know, like, you know, some dish. And uh, <laughs> I become a happy man. So after a decade of crass, fast living, young people in 90s are looking to take their time, smoke a cigar, drink a martini, eat a big plate of mashed potatoes. All the name of good postmodern fun. If Ben Dougherty of Love Jones looks familiar, well, he used to be in the Lemonheads. Love Jones plays New Orleans this Saturday. And if you're hooked and you want to hear more from Love Jones and Combustible Edison, do check out Space Age Bachelor Pad Music, a newly reissue of suavely surreal late 50s and early 60s classics by Juan Garcia Esquivel, one of the patron saints of Retro Lounge. He also gets a chapter in the new book, Incredibly Strange Music, Volume 2, which documents the maniacs who seek out and collect the works of such resoundingly unique artists as Esquivel. And that's the news for now. Be sure to